Hi guys, Chris here from cncmachineplans.com. It's been a while, it's been a long while um, since I posted a video and I apologise for that, but things have been busy and you know, life quickly takes over. But you know, a few things have happened in the meantime, but the mill is up and running and I have been making some more parts. Um, I just put a, a photo up on Instagram just showing what I'm making and it's going to be this video tonight. So I'll just show you what I've been working on and also um, you know a bit of an overview of the mill which is just right behind me here. So I'll turn this camera around and I'll, I'll show you just a bit about it. So here's a part in here that I've been working on, um, but you know, just before I go on to that, I've got everything set up here. So I've got tool holders on this side. So how I've got it sort of set up is um, drills and spot drill, that sort of thing. And on this side, I've got edge finders and end mills. Um, and at the back, you know, I've got. Um, micrometers and that sort of thing um, back to this side boring bar and tramming tools that sort of thing all right so on the machine I'm using a mix of sort of Aaron powders parts um, that's DCT teacher I just want to say a big thank you to him because he's been indispensable the parts and the quality of his parts are just fantastic so I suggest you go check out his channel um, but you know mine's like I said before I wanted to use um, NEMA 34 up top um, just because you know I don't know what I, if I plan on upgrading a few things up here and I'm sure you know 570 ounce NEMA 23 would be fine but you know I just didn't want to risk it but um, I'm not by any means saying that it won't work you know, I just wanted to go NEMA 34. Anyway, so I've got 1200 amps up here, and that's also got an encoder on it. Um, so it's a closed loop system. For the table in X and Y is also um, 570 ounce motors, and they're NEMA 23s, and um, they've also got the closed loop system on them as well have an Xbox controller setting it all up um, moving it left right you know so on and so forth so on this side of the table I don't know if you can see it properly but there's a I didn't put a floating system on here, I put a fixed end on both ends so I could potentially put another one of those motors on this side as well. But that nut is tightened up on there. So I'll give you a demonstration of how the closed loose system actually works. So what I can do, wrong way, put a spanner on here. So that's not going anywhere, but if I force it out of position, hang on. There we go. So you can see the motors will pull it back, which isn't actually, I haven't got it on there properly. There we go. You can feel the motors pulling back and fighting me. So I pull it out of position. It'll pull it back into position. 
So the same thing happens if I jam it back here while I'm milling something and it breaks free again then it will catch up. So it's been you know really good but you know again doesn't it works really well. Alright so you know the finish I'm getting on these parts are just absolutely beautiful. This is using the Tormark fly cutter on this. Um, you may recognize these parts if you've downloaded the free plans for the CNC machines. Um, that's available on my website at cncmachineplans.com but these parts are for sale at um, cnckits.com.au um, which also has a link to the free plans and that sort of thing. So this is the bottom V bearing runner for the CNC machine plans that use um, V bearings. So. Alright, so that's a bit of an overview of the milling machine and some parts I've been working on. Um, what I'll do is I'll leave you now with the video of the machine running, cutting that part. I was just talking, that's on in the vice right now. Um, so I'll leave you with that and I'll catch up with you guys later.